y'all doing well today? Today we're going to be talking and spilling the tea on how I grew my hair out. This is the number one asked question that I get on a daily basis. It doesn't matter where I go, this question is asked. Um, I get messages constantly about it. So we're going to go ahead and spill the tea right here so I can answer all y'all's questions in just one video and it'll be just a lot simpler this way. So when anybody asks me now, I can just direct them to this video. <laughs> okay, so I've got three little tricks that I think helped tremendously when I decided to grow out my hair. Number one, washing your hair. Guys, I'm telling you, washing your hair a lot is not good for it. Um, I used to be one of those people that washed their hair every single morning before school. I had to my hair was an oily mess there was no way about it if I was were if I was wearing my hair down I had to wash it that morning um, it was it was a mess and it was frustrating and aggravating because my sister on the other hand she could go two or three days without washing her hair and everything was fine so and this was in the days where like scrunching your hair was a thing you know when you had it wet and put all the gel in it my hair is so so straight that I couldn't even do that I couldn't get by with just doing a simple hair so I always 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 had to wash my hair every single morning so with that being said I go two weeks without washing my hair that's right I go two weeks I will wear it down a week up a week so the week that I wash it that's when I wear my hair down the second week, I'll wear it up. That way, I can add as much dry shampoo, um, texturizing spray, whatever it may be to just get me through that week and not have to worry about washing it. Now, I'm not saying I always go two weeks, so but for the most part, I do. Um, with that being said, like if I have somewhere to be, if I have um, an occasion or whatever it may be that you know I want to look nice and I want my hair down, I certainly will wash my hair within those two weeks. Um, but for the most part, I strictly go two weeks without washing it. Y'all may think I'm nasty. I'm sorry about it. My husband thinks I'm nasty. <laughs> it's a gong. So I do use the Batiste Brunette Dry Shampoo. And when I do wash my hair, it looks like that I have dipped my hair in a oil bin. Yes. <laughs> but like I said, I think if I can give you one tip to take from this entire video, it will be to not wash your hair so much because it helps so much, guys. It is the number one factor, I think, that came with growing out my hair. My hair was bobbed off. It was literally up to here, stacked in the back. Um, I love that hairstyle. And after my son was born, I just became more susceptible to throwing it up on my head. I didn't really pay much mind to it because like I said I had a newborn in the house um, washing and making my hair look all nice was just not a thing y'all if you're a mother you already know it's a struggle so self-care is definitely a big is a big factor with that so like I said I would just ball it up on my head that's how I went throughout most of his first year um, I the last time I cut it off was before he was a year old so i'm i'm not sure the exact dates but it was like 2015 is when i last cut my hair off um and i i think i think i did i cut it about right here and i bobbed it slightly in the back that time i will insert a picture right here just so you guys can see how short it was then so let's just fast forward to now so my hair is down to my hips when it is pulled into the front and when it's in the back it it touches my butt sorry tmi but it does um it is aggravating sometimes and i just want to pull it out but i resorted to hair extensions for several years and I think it damaged a lot of my roots um there's nothing wrong with wearing hair extensions i'm not saying that but i wore hair extensions every single day um you know and eventually i just think it pulled and tugged it was uncomfortable all the time but i really didn't care because i always 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 wanted my hair to be so long and so pretty um i mean i just i love that look and i always love that look i always just envied girls that had super beautiful long hair and now I have really long hair. I'm not saying I have beautiful hair. I'm just saying like now I have long hair and I love it. Other than the part when I have to brush it. 
<laughs> to go on or wash it. Um, so like I said, with tip number one, definitely washing your hair is a big factor in getting your hair to grow because it is let it, you're you're just washing away all your natural oils that your hair really really needs, guys. Um, and that's um, that's just my personal opinion. I'm not a hairstylist, a beautician, or any type of specialist when it comes to hair, guys. This is just what works for me and what I have done my research on. I watched so many videos when I started to grow my hair out um, and trying to learn tips and tricks from other people and I took some from people and you know some from others or whatever it may be but like I said I started my journey with growing my hair out in probably 2015 and I have no clue who those people are that I watched or I would definitely credit them in this video um but like I said washing your hair is definitely a huge factor in my opinion with getting your hair to grow so to tip number two hair trims I know they say every six weeks, look, I have not had a haircut by a beautician since that day. 2015 is the last time I have ever been to a beautician to cut my hair. Um, I'm not saying you're wrong. Please, Lord, do not come after me. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be getting normal haircuts and everything every six weeks. That's completely up to you. I'm just saying it did not work for me. My hair was at this length for years um it was annoying like this was my high school length so this is why i wore extensions because i always wanted the long hair that i have now so this here was the length that i kept it was like right at the top of my boobs um and i hate that length that is that really awkward length and it's not just me i hear so many other people talking about that length and how just annoying it is because once it's it's like it stops when it gets to this length when it gets here it's just like it does not want to do anything else it's just it stops and it's so frustrating so like i said after i had my son i quit going regularly to the hairstylist and getting my haircut and i truly believe that was a huge factor in it too because i do not believe that cutting your hair every six weeks helps your hair grow i do not believe that um like I said, please do not come at me. This is just my, what worked for me. I'm just, I really want to, you know, make sure that is very well known to you guys that I'm not a stylist. I don't claim to be a stylist. This is just what worked for me. Um, I do, my hair is all one length. So I do pull it to the front and I will trim the ends of it myself if I feel like they need trimmed. Um, sometimes I even get a little heavy handed and I'll be looking in the mirror and I'm like, ooh, I cut a little too much off but um it's not a big deal um like i said it's all one length i don't really see where i can mess it up or go wrong and again please do not come at me for cutting my own hair <laughs> um but that that was just a big factor for me it just was not working for me getting regular haircuts every six weeks it just it was pointless to me it was at like i said it was at this awkward length and i just didn't get anything out of it i was just wanting long hair so badly and i was doing everything that apparently was right at this time but my hair wasn't growing so like i said i do not wash my hair but every two weeks i do not get hair trims do not if i went into a hairstylist right now and i asked her how much hair would you have to cut off to make my hair, you know, to cut all the split ends or whatever it may be. My hair doesn't have very many of those, by the way. Um, I try to be very careful with that. But um, if I asked them and they told me they would have to cut my hair off to here, I would walk out. Because I'm not starting over to that. That is just not an option in my opinion. I will literally walk around with hay like hair before I let that happen. <laughs> I worked too hard for this. So... Like I said, tip number one, try to wash your hair less. Tip number two, I do not get hair trims. Number three, if possible, guys, please, less heat on your hair. And if you are putting heat on your hair, please, please, please make sure that you are using a heat protectant. I use the Tresemme heat protectant. It is fantastic. I've used it for years. I'm out of it right now or I would show you the bottle. But for the most part, you really need a really good heat protectant for your hair if you are putting heat on it. So I try my best not, this This is my natural hair. This is not straightened. This is not curled. Nothing. This is what my hair looks like daily. This It does not do much. And that's okay. I've come to terms with that. That's fine. Um, it does not hold curl. 
I will curl my entire head. I've even curled it and bobby pinned it to my head to let all the curls cool. I've sprayed it. You know, I've done all that. My hair just is just so heavy. It's like I said, it's one length, so it's just my hair is heavy. It does not hold anything. And even before that, even when I had like you know lots of layers in my hair and everything else, it still really would not hold curl because my hair's so stick straight. Um, I've never really had a beautician like define what type of hair I have, but as far as me just doing research and trying to figure that out myself, I do believe that I have fine hair, but I have a lot of hair. So like my hair is really, really thick. I have a lot of hair, but the actual strands of my hair are really small. Um, like I said, I notice sometimes like my hair feels thicker than other times, um, like definitely on my second week with not washing it like when I brush it you know it's just real fluffy or whatever now my hair feels super thick through those days but um that first week it feels a little bit more on the thinner side I don't know what that's about but like I said if I could define what type of hair I have by my research it is definitely fine but I have a lot of hair um so like I said guys if if you can get away with not using heat on your hair. I don't even blow dry my hair a whole lot. Like I said, now if I'm going somewhere and I need to wash my hair and I need to blow dry or whatever, I definitely do that. I'm not saying that I do not put heat on my hair, but I try to plan it out to where I do not have to put heat on my hair. Um, I don't even, I don't use a blow dryer anymore. I've got one of the, um, it's a Conair and it like, it's like a brush and you can dry it. It's like a, I think it's used for technically like blowouts and things, but like I said, my hair is so flat. It's like I said, this is this is my hair um, naturally. Um, but I do use that. But I use a heat protectant always. Always use a heat protectant. Um, I use a, a wet to straight straightener because I do not have to have anything fancy. Because like I said, this is my natural state of hair. It does not take a fancy straightener to straighten my hair. Um, I do have like the Hot Tools cor curlers. I have. You know several of those I think I have two or three and I also have a couple of wands but like I said my hair is just so long and so heavy that it just does not hold curl um, I did buy a waiver the other day and uh, you can go back a few videos back and see my hair when it was kind of waved really like really thick or whatever that's what I used for that um, it's something for me to get used to I'm not used to seeing my hair like that but it was definitely a change and I really enjoyed it um, but like I said, those are three tips. So wash your hair less. I do not trim my hair and less heat. So guys, please remember that, that first one. I'm telling you, if you can take anything from this video and use a tip that I can give you, it is definitely not washing your hair. Um, often, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just, you do what you think you need to do, but washing it less will help so much. So let's just go ahead and get into some products that I use on my hair. So for the most part, this is my shampoo. It is the Dove Daily Moisture. Um, I have repurchased this shampoo probably 10 or 15 times. It's uh, my go-to. I really just like the smell of it. It doesn't really do as far as like anything for my hair, I don't feel like. Um, that's just what I really enjoy using. And I do use the conditioner to this too as well. I just buy the big bottle of shampoo and the smaller bottle of conditioner because I do not put conditioner all over my head. I just put conditioner on the tips. Now, with that being said, I do use this conditioner. It is um, Tea Tree Tea Tree Special Conditioner. Um, this is for if you have like dry scalp or you struggle with dandruff, which I definitely have in the past and I still do slightly. It's nothing that I can't control anymore, but this conditioner has helped a lot. I do put this on my scalp, but I do not put this on after I shampoo. This goes on before and I let this sit for probably five minutes and I am, well, hang on a minute. I will mention that last because that's like, I'm going to save the best for last. But like I said, um, I put this on and leave it on for about five minutes and then I rinse it and then I will shampoo. And I also, I want to mention too, that I do shampoo twice. I do, and for them, like I said, I do not put conditioner on the roots of my hair, but I shampoo my hair twice because I do go those two weeks and I really need, you know, that second wash. So, and I just put the Dove Daily Moisture Conditioner on the tips of my hair. Okay, so now for like treatment style things. 
Um, I use these two by OGX. One is Argan Oil and Morocco and one is Nourishing Coconut Milk. Um, I love both of these. They both do different things. I use them um, one for one every two weeks and then I'll use the other one the other two weeks. So um, when I wash my hair and I put these on damp both. So the coconut milk one is an anti-breakage -break serum. It in indulges your senses with this exclusive blend with coconut milk, coconut oil, and ultra whipped egg whites. Proteins, this exotic formula helps add strength, elasticity, hydration, and balance for healthy hair. So I really enjoy this and this does only goes on this part of my hair. That's it. I do not put this all over my hair. This just goes on the ends of my hair. And this one is an argan oil of Morocco, a weightless dry oil. Um, this exotic precious formula infused with argan oil of Morocco helps to rapidly infuse hair with a sheer veil of shine, grooving color, and highlights a multi-face go. And highlights a multi-face go, sorry. And tame flyaway frizzies. And I only put this one on the tips of my hair as well. So I already did mention the dry shampoo, but I will mention it again here. It is the Batiste um, in the shade Brunette. I do buy the big cans because I go through it so much. So, lastly. Okay, guys. This is the... Okay, if you can take any tip. I know I've done said it. But if you can take any tip, it is definitely not washing your hair often. But if you can buy anything from this video that you feel like you need, it's this. It's a scalp massager. If you do not have one of these guys, I mean, run to Amazon right now. I mean, run. I don't care where you are. If you're at work, I don't, I don't care. Run and order this. This thing has been life changing. So, as I was saying with the tea tree, I will let that sit and I will use this to give myself a little five minute massage while that tea tree conditioner is working its magic. Um, this thing in general, even if you're not trying to grow out your hair, this is just a an amazing self-care item that you need. I'm telling you guys, if you buy anything from this video, please go buy this. Go buy this and look, like I, I have 91 subscribers guys, that's it. Um, I'm not paid to, for this as much as I would like to be. But this thing is amazing, amazing. So please, if you buy anything from this video, buy this. So guys, um, that is it for this video. Um, that's all I do. It's nothing crazy. I do not use crazy expensive products. The only expensive thing in this video that's not even, that I don't consider really expensive because I mean, it's just like anything else, honestly, is the tea tree conditioner. Um, I mean, I think I bought mine on sale for like $19 for this really big bottle. Uh, but you can get that at Ulta. Um, but like I said, I do not use fancy products. Um, it's just, it doesn't seem worth it to me. Like I said, my hair doesn't do a whole lot. So with that being said, I don't really feel like I need to have really fancy products. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that I helped you guys in some type of way today with, if you're growing, or growing if you are going on your hair growth journey, um, please let me know. Um, I would really love some input. And if you guys really like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.